up resellers I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the reseller thanks for joining me today for a video I've been meaning to do for a little while I'm excited to share it with you uh, for a couple reasons one I've been getting some questions about this and two because I feel like I've come up with a couple of good ideas and I wanted to share them with you so the topic for today is closet signs it's one of my favorite topics it's one of the things that I feel pretty passionately about and if you've watched any of my closet reviews that I do you'll know that I talk about them pretty often um, and usually have something to say about it for everybody's closet review if they don't already have these things so it's something like I said I feel like I know a lot about and I have a lot to say about it to share with you today also please don't mind me this is hot mess mom day a lot of things are going on and I just could not get it together so this was the only time to record the video please bear with me I know I look crazy um, I mean I guess I always look crazy but whatever so I do want to share with you kind of one of the things behind this um, if you don't know I have an Etsy store and this is where I have all of my reseller tools and resources everything that I've created for my business um, or thought that it would be helpful to other people and I've made them available here so there's lots of stuff there's my keywords list there's my ebook on how to run a, a local closet clear out service but the new I have listing forms like tons of stuff in there you can check it out but the reason why I'm bringing it to you is I just added a series of Poshmark closet signs bundles and some other things around it and since that's the topic of today's video I am going to go through with you all of the various closet signs that I want to talk about like some different ideas but I do want to share with you this first and then I'll get into all the tips. Um, Got to make you wait till the end. Um, so I have basically like an ultimate bundle of this design here, this scripty with the purse and the shoes and the lipstick, kind of like an old timey look. So that's the like the image of the closet sign, and then it has over sixty different images of different closet signs. And so there's eighteen for categories, there's twenty one for like operations type signs, and there's twenty six for like promotions type signs. And you get all sixty of them in that bundle. If you don't want that bundle and you just want a portion of it, I have just the operation signs, I have just the category signs, and I have just like the promotions, the sales and sold bundle. Now if you want to get your closet name on there, you can additionally purchase one of these and the custom add-on and I'll add your closet name. And if you just want to do your own thing, like you're pretty handy, pretty creative, but you just want some ideas of all the signs that I recommend, um, this is for you. This is the DIY Poshmark Closet Signs Ideas and Inspirations list. And basically it's just a text list, but it's all the ideas that I have for closet signs. Things that you can do with it, different promotions, you can run different operation signs that you can have, different ways that you can switch it up from sign to sign, um, and all of the categories and things like that, of course. So there's 85 ideas, and it's just a text list, and then you can use your preferred method, whether you use the Over app or Typorama or Canva or some other type of program, you can make your own signs custom to your brand however you want. I'm just giving you the ideas. And so that's why that's like super cheap at $2.99. Um, so that's my new kind of like addition to the store, if you will, um, is the Poshmark Closet Signs bundles. And I do want to do other designs I just haven't had a chance to put them all together it's basically going to be the same exact signs just different designs so if you have an idea for a design that would work for you leave it in the comments of this video below and I'll refer to them all or if you don't want them yourself but you just think that there's a cute theme that you would think people would like again drop it in the comments below and that way I can look through them and say okay people mentioned pineapples a bunch of times so maybe I'll make a pineapple design or whatever so anyway I have closet signs they're all there I have closet signs ideas and all the other stuff in the Etsy store and I hope that something like that will be helpful for you you don't have to purchase them if you know how to do this like I make them I make them all the time for all different reasons if you're handy like that make them yourself. Um, but if you're somebody that doesn't know how to do it or doesn't want to deal with it, these are available for you. So let's get into the sign ideas that I want to share with you. These are the free ideas. So the first kind of group, I have a few different examples, are sales. So when you're having a sale in your Poshmark closet, you should have a sign for it. Um, and that way you can not only share it in the feed of your followers and not only would it possibly be available in search if somebody was searching for it but it also 
um, is something then that you can take that same image and share it on social media or however else you want to share it. So some of the ideas are things like this, like a three items for 20 sale. So this is something that I've run before. Another one is um, just sale and then five for 25. And then this is an emoji. And so anything marked with that emoji is the thing that is on sale. So you can have your whole closet on sale or you can say anything marked with, I don't know why I keep calling this a magnolia. I don't even know if it's a magnolia, um, but whatever this flower is. Um, with that flower emoji in the title, those are the ones that are on the five for 25 sale. This one actually worked really well for me. Um, then the next one that I wanted to talk about is a name your price sale. So I just recently did a name your price sale and on the docket of videos coming up is my name your price sale video with all my tips and thoughts on how it went and recommendations and things I would do differently. So stay tuned for that. But this was the exact thing that I used for the name your price sale. So you can advertise it that way. Um, okay. So just going back to the sales, um, when you do a sale, I would think of some keywords to go along with your title because if people search, and your description for that matter, um, because if people, like some people search for sale, some people search for going out of business. I've done it. <laughs> so I wanna look for people that are having sales. I wanna look for people that have deals. I've searched moving sale. I've searched closet closing sale. I've searched sale. I've searched flash sale. Um, I've searched BOGO, I've searched lots of different things. I've searched name your price and some signs will come up. And then sometimes if people put that, that is on sale, like the name of the sale in the listing that is part of the sale. So if you had, you know, a Tory Burch and that was part of your name your price sale, you would write name your price at the bottom of your Tory Burch listing. I personally wouldn't do that because then you wouldn't get anybody regularly buying it. But if you're running the sale, you could put those things. And so then you'd find all the items that are on sale. So just keep in mind that when you make a closet sign for a sale, do keep in mind of those keywords and search terms that you can put in there in case someone is looking for a sale. Also, I do have a Facebook group for sellers and buyers to go. It's free and that way you can find and post about your sales. So that's linked down below and it's linked in my Instagram as well. Um, it's like Poshmark deals and sales or something, I don't know, whatever. But if you want to post your sale, you can post the link to your listing there so buyers can find it. And if you're a buyer and you wanna find out what sales are going on, you can go there and see what sellers are having a sale. So just a thing. Um, so those are sales. Now, then there's also like promotions. And so a promotion is something that you kind of maybe are running periodically or from time to time, but it's not a sale. I don't know if that's the real term, that's just how I think of it. So like for me, a promotion is something that I kind of do all the time. And so recently I created some promotions with my boutique items. Now you may not have boutique items, but maybe you have it on certain brands or certain categories or whatever. So for me, I have everyday savings, boutique swim bundle, two for 40. So any of my swimsuits, any of my cover-ups, you can make a bundle of two of them for $40. Most of my swim items are $29 or more, so that's a great saving. So they just make a bundle and offer. So you wanna tell them what the promotion is, kind of what's included, and then what to do to make a bundle and make an offer. Now another one that I have is all jewelry items. And so all of the boutique jewelry items that I have are, cause I don't have any jewelry items that are not boutique. So that's why I put all jewelry items. But if you have both, you might wanna make a distinction but I have all jewelry items, three for 35 and free shipping. Just bundle any three items and then I'll send an offer and you can accept it. So that's all the time because jewelry items are light. So I definitely wanted to have like a nice bundle offer on that and that seems to work well. So that's kind of another idea of a promotion. Final, I think final idea I have for promotion is want 20% off and free shipping, bundle any item with any boutique jewelry item and accept my offer. So if somebody's looking at not your daughter's jeans, and they also like a boutique bracelet, if they bundle those two, they'll get 20% off because of the bundle, and then I'll send them an offer for free shipping. And a lot of the times that's because the boutique items for jewelry that I have have a good markup in them where I can eat that between the two items, the free shipping. And so for most things that works really well. Um, I don't have this in all of my listings, but where you can put these signs are actually inside the listing as a photo. So this doesn't necessarily, these are not signs 
as separate listings themselves in my closet. These are as photos inside a listing that it applies to. So like this one for the swim is in all of my swim items. So they scroll through, they see all the swim, the tags, the this, the, all the pictures in the listing, and then this is the last picture. Same for this. This is in most, if not all, of my jewelry items. I might have forgotten a few. Um, this one is supposed to be in all of my regular listings, so that way if they're looking at a pair of jeans, they're looking at a dress, they see, oh, well, if I, buy, if I want this and then I buy a jewelry item, it's 20% off and free shipping, let me go look at her jewelry items, and that brings them over to my jewelry section, and then they make a bundle and buy them both. And that's a way to upsell, to upgrade, <laughs> to get more bang for your book, to sell more things, sell a certain category. So that particular combo may not work for you, but maybe you have socks, maybe you have ties, and so if you sell men's items and you say buy any shirt, you get a tie, or whatever it is, um, this is that kind of promotion. So another sign that you can make is just a thank you, um, and I had this up a long time ago. I'm not even, I'm well past 5,500 listings at this point, but this was just an example that you can just make a thank you sign and have that up at the top of your closet um, or a posh bursary sign or anything to kind of celebrate, say thank you to your buyers, just another kind of promotional tool. Um, there's not too much else to say about that, but I do like having a thank you sign in my closet. Another one is, you know, promoting your social media. So some people have a sign that says connect with me on Instagram, things like that. For me, I, you know, like to promote my YouTube channel. So I don't always have this up. I put it up, then I take it down. I put it up, I take it down. I have different thoughts about it. Um, but this is the one that I made for that. And if you're somebody that has a YouTube channel and are not promoting in your Poshmark closet, you might want to. Um, provided that it's you know related of course and even if you don't have a YouTube channel but you have an Instagram that would work too let them know put the you know Instagram logo thing up here and put your handle and you know promote it that way and that way you can get more followers so just an idea um, for a different type of closet sign now these are the two best that I see the best, of course. so this is one that I talked about in a few different videos and um, it is a sign that allows you to kind of highlight your buyer confidence things. So like, I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> like, you know, I've talked about it in the closet reviews. Like you want to instill confidence in your buyer for them to buy from you and not from somebody else. So I've talked about having a buyer confidence line at the bottom of your listing template in your description that kind of tells them some things about you and what to expect from you as a seller. And then I thought, why don't I just make a closet sign? But instead of having it in the closet as a listing, it would go as a photo inside of my listing so that as they're scrolling through the listing photos, they see the item, they see the details, they see the front, they see the back, they see the tags, boom. Now they see professional seller, packaged with care, ship same next day, offers welcome, bundle and save, heart for price drops on my rack, which is my closet. So this just is another visual way and to another way to put the same information that basically is at the bottom of my listing, um, but it's in a graphic form. And so here, there's no um, character limit or anything like that, which is great. So I was able to put more things here, like professional seller and packaged with care, than I have at the bottom of my description inside my listing, because there that's using up characters. And I might want those characters to sell the item more, to include more information and more keywords for the item to get it found in search. And so I may eventually go just to this in the graphic format and take them out of the bottom, but for right now it's working at the bottom. I don't wanna take it out on purpose, um, but it's something to think about. Like if you're somebody that writes a very wordy description and you don't have a lot of extra characters to put a buyer confidence line, you may want to do this graphic form. And if all of this is like confusing to you, I have a whole video about boosting buyer confidence and I have a whole video on my listing template. So check those out because those are in my Poshmark you know, series and that will kind of give you all of the backstory on that. But this is just the sign to share with you for that purpose. And then next up is on my rack, 800 available listings, 6,200 plus items sold, which is now out of date, ships same next day. So this is the infamous closet sign that I talk about all the time, which is your bookmark sign. 
this should be non-negotiable. This should be something that everyone has. And I'm not the kind of person and YouTuber to tell you you have to do this. I strongly recommend that you do this. Um, everyone can do whatever they want. Run your closet however you like. It's your business. Um, I'm I you know I don't like a lot of YouTubers that like tell you what you have to do. But I do feel very passionately and very strongly that a closet bookmark sign is a must have in your closet. And it's something that would go at the very top of your closet. And it's something that would basically tell them what to expect from your closet and just like a place for them to know that that's the spot to find you. So if they like that listing, that's why it's called a bookmark. If they like that listing, they're always going to have that in their likes and they can go and find your closet anytime. Um, I just think it's a great tool to use. There are some people that do like they price it really high and so anyone that likes it they like drop the price and then it gives them notifications. Honest to God I have not ever really figured out and gave it enough thought to figure out how that works <laughs> so I don't do that but I know that there are people that like they price it high they use the price drop feature to notify people of things I think they change the title I'm not sure but it's something with the price drop feature and something with the money you know the price of the item that they drop I don't know but anyway I don't do that but I know people do that and I'm sure that works for them but I do think that everyone should have I do think that everyone should have that sounded weird do you think that everyone should have a Poshmark closet bookmark sign and so it's something that could have your branding in it and again just tells them a little bit like I have 800 listings so I'm a big closet there's something for you here I've sold 6,000 items so clearly I'm a good seller and um, I ship same next day those are the things that I felt needed to be on the sign now you can write anything you want in the listing you can write things like you know this stuff in the listing to tell them more um, or the kinds of brands you like or whatever but that at least is at the top of the closet and kind of lets them know what's going on. Sometimes I switch that out for the sale sign. If the sale is more important, it's obviously time sensitive, I would put that at the top. But the bookmark sign is usually the thing that's at the top and kind of just really sets the tone for your closet. So those were all of the signs that I wanted to share with you today. Now these specific signs in topic and title are kind of in the bundles that I have available but obviously I'm not doing a custom bookmark sign but this here this welcome to my closet that would be the bookmark sign that you can use and then you can put the information that you want in the um, you know title and description there are different you know signs there's like a 3 for 20 and a 5 for 25 and all those kinds of things so go through check out the listings if you're in the market to purchase closet signs again you can fully make them yourself it's very easy to do and I even have a video on how I make signs in typorama and the over app so you can check out that I almost forgot I had that video so you can check out that video too so you could totally make them yourself but if you're just somebody that doesn't want to do it or you want to support my channel by purchasing something from me I'd love that check out the Etsy store it's linked down below I hope you make a bookmark sign. I hope you run a sale and make a sign for it. I hope that some of these ideas will be helpful to you, whether it's now or in the future. And I hope you will subscribe, like this video, and comment down below any other themes that you think would be good for me to make Poshmark closet signs about. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.